my name is Chris Rogers. I'm an inventor and a designer and a roboticist. This is my shop. It's just the corner of a basement in my house. And my current project involves the design and development of a tracked robot with a paintball gun. My vision is to create a robot which is an alternative to killing people with guns. My idea can potentially save lives. This robot will be powerful enough to pull a person by using this as a medical extraction platform, injured warfighters and law enforcement personnel can quickly and safely be removed from harm's way without having to put another member of your team or a medic into danger. The other idea behind this project is to create a platform which can climb stairs. And so I'm looking at a tracked platform. I've been working on this project for a while and you can see some of the robots behind me. Uh, they all have wheels, and none of them can climb stairs very well, so I'm interested in uh, tackling that problem. So, the paintball gun is going to be a military-style reconfigurable weapon, which will allow you to shoot pepper balls, paint, or rubber rounds, and it will also give you the ability to reconfigure the weapon by putting on various cameras so you can have a night vision camera, a red dot laser scope. A thermal imaging camera or a variety of different accessories. I developed this platform here which is called the Romp for remotely operated mobile platform. And basically it's a, it's a big monster truck RC car with upgrades to hold a payload of about eight pounds. We modified the suspension and the gearing and a couple other things so that you can mount a variety of experiments, cameras, sensors, applications to this platform. And so I mounted various instruments, cameras, listening devices to this platform and then one day decided wouldn't it be cool to mount a paintball gun on this thing. So I did just that. I mounted a paintball gun to the romp and came up with the paintball UGV. So what came out of that was this, and this is the robotic weapon, and it has a military style paintball gun that can fire 20 rounds per second, and allows you to put cameras at uh, different positions on the gun, it has a laser sight, and has an auto feed magazine, and also has elevation, which allows you to point the gun up and down. The problem with this thing is it's it's hard to uh, translate or pan the gun and hit your target and it also has a lot of moving parts and is very expensive. So then I built the, the megahertz as a, a third generation uh, prototype and this thing is really amazing. It can it can pull a person. And it has armor plating. Uh, it can fire 20 rounds per second, also a paintball gun, and it has uh, elevation and the ability to translate the gun horizontally. However, the problem with that is it turned out to be a 280, almost 300 pound monster. <laughs> So I'm offering uh, several rewards for uh, people who are willing to pledge a certain amount of money, everything from uh, plans to build um, uh, the deck for uh, modifying your own RC car to uh, a kit to build this, which is the romp. And what's cool about this is it has an aluminum plate which you can use to mount your experiments, uh, your components, your application, put an arm, video camera, whatever you want on here. And this base vehicle is uh, a very heavy-duty Emacs monster truck. 
and it's upgraded to suspend uh, eight pounds on the aluminum plate. Um, I've upgraded the suspension with these Intigy shocks, the eight oil dampened shock absorbers. Uh, there's gearing so that it moves slowly and has a lot more torque than normal. But these things can be upgraded to make a, you know, a monster truck capable of 50 miles an hour. So this is fully waterproof. So you might think this is a crazy, whacked out idea, and indeed it could be, but I think there are some real world applications, for example, in scenario games in the paintball industry, but also in law enforcement or the military. Uh, you can use a non-lethal weapon like a paintball gun to disable an assailant or a suspect instead of putting a bullet in them. So having the ability to operate this through remote control you can now put your, your people in a safe place and not put them into harm's way and operate the gun remotely. Send it out there, send it in ahead of your team. So in addition to improving the safety and the potential lifespan of an enemy or a suspect, the design helps to take the operator out of danger and take them out of harm's way. So basically the tools I'm using are modified woodworking tools in order to create very precision parts and part of what I'm looking for is uh, funding so I can buy a mill and fabricate high precision components. I'm driven by my passion and I hope you'll be a part of that. I hope you help contribute to my dream and help me achieve my vision.